Hi everybody, Mark Washburn here from Pond Algae Solutions. And here in Iowa today, we have a beautiful day. It is finally cooling off after a, a very hot summer. Been a very challenging year uh, for algae control across the entire country of the United States. It's been uh, extremely hot for an extended period of time and those are very challenging conditions. But as we, as we start to head into fall, things are starting to cool off. And fortunately, as they do, gradually, you should see a reduction in the algae growth as well as some other things like aquatic weed growth in many ponds. If you live in a warmer climate, obviously this is going to take longer and in some uh, very southern locations you may see algae all year long if the conditions are right for it. But we get a question this time of year quite a lot and I wanted to address it in this video. As you know, we uh, use beneficial bacteria extensively in our work with ponds and we do actually work with trying to maintain clarity and improve the condition of ponds with bacteria and that includes algae issues. Algae can actually regress when you get nutrients low enough and that's basically what bacteria works on. So the question is, uh, as we go into fall, is there any need or use for using beneficial bacteria um, if algae is going to go away anyway? The answer to that is yes. In many cases, it's still not a bad idea, if you want to, to continue to use bacteria. Um, obviously, that you have the type of bacteria that has a very broad temperature range. Many bacteria on the market have a limitation where they work better in warmer conditions, let's say above 50 or 55. And certainly naturally occurring bacteria will work and become activated above about 50 to 55 degrees, possibly into the high 40s. But because of some formulations that have been done over the years, uh, we've been able to improve the cold water formulas and also uh, in the case of our Biosphere Pros and our Small Pond 2500 system, those have an all season, all temperature uh, capability, meaning they'll work down to about 34 degrees and up to over 100 degrees and handle those temperatures uh, relatively well. So uh, what's the purpose of using bacteria in the fall? Well, first of all, keep in mind that the fundamental reason that bacteria works on improving algae conditions is that it, first and foremost, is a pond cleanser. That's what it does. It cleans up uh, nutrients phosphates, nitrates, nitrites, things like that. It will reduce ammonia, uh, helping with the nitrogen cycle, as we've talked about in previous videos. And so it's a pond cleanser, first and foremost. And because it cleans up the pond of organic loads and organic elements, it will reduce uh, unwanted algae growth at times. And so uh, as we go into the fall, making sure that your pond is clean is a good idea. Particularly if you have a small pond and you overwinter, uh, if you're going to keep the pond operating, you want some biological activity in there as long as you can maintain it until it gets to, to freeze up. And so it's a good idea to keep uh, some bacteria going in a pond uh, like this. In large ponds, what we found is as we treat into the fall, if you've had chronic problems with algae and other unwanted things like odors and heavy muck buildup, it's a good idea to supplement into the fall because you do get some carryover. The uh, bacteria will go dormant in the winter time, but come spring, oftentimes you can clean up a pond quicker and more easily uh, as temperatures warm up again. So we found that there is a carryover from year to year uh, from adding bacteria in the fall. Uh, so, you know, we generally uh, talk a lot about algae control here, obviously because that's the primary problem that many of our customers and viewers have. But um, this is just a friendly reminder uh, that bacteria is a pond cleaning mechanism. And if you have concerns and desires, I guess you'd say, to make sure that your pond stays cleaner, that's the primary reason we would suggest using beneficial bacteria, even though the algae season is now winding down. It's not a bad idea, much like taking a probiotic for yourself to keep uh, for your pond and as long as you get something that's right for the conditions that you have and the temperature conditions that you'll deal with uh, you know it's it's not a bad addition to maintain or ensure at least that you have good uh, good colonization and good numbers of beneficial bacteria present in your pond throughout the year so I hope that answers your question if you have any other comments or questions you can address those on our blog at pondalgesolutions.com slash blog 
and uh, there will be a comment section below the video there and feel free to leave leave some uh, uh, questions or comments and we'll be happy to try to address those there too so thanks for joining me today enjoy this beautiful fall weather uh, it's about time I think so we'll talk to you again very soon take care